A growing number of outwardly observant Jews are going up to the Temple Mount in Jerusalem in an attempt to upset the fragile status quo at one of the most religiously contested spots in the world. Non-Muslims are not allowed to pray here in order to avoid the kind of friction we witness as we film a group of Jewish pilgrims passing by the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the third holiest site in Islam. Using an amateur camera and under police escort, we follow Yitzhak Hruven. He says his mission is to remind Jews that this is the Holy of Holies and that they should return to it. And when the Jewish nation, as a nation united, decides that we want to return here, then we're convinced that uh, the other nations will respect that. The plan that Reuven refers to is on display at the Temple Institute. He explains that everything is ready for Israel to rebuild the Jewish Temple. And, uh, every vessel that we make here is a vessel that's ready for use in the Third Temple. The Jewish temple was destroyed twice some 2,000 years ago. Those who work here promote its reconstruction on the site known to Muslims as the Noble Sanctuary. Are we here just to be another nation? And if so, what does that mean? Or are we here because, because uh, we have a destiny that uh, we hope to fulfill and we feel this is a central, central part of the destiny? At the Knesset, the Israeli parliament, a highly anticipated hearing on the issue of Jewish prayer at the Temple Mount quickly turns into a heated argument. The issue has gone from only being the obsession of a few fringe elements to becoming a topic of public debate. Yehuda Glick has been instrumental in making this happen. We have a lot of political will. We don't have, but we're lacking political guts, which means most of the, of the, of the Jewish uh, politicians in this Knesset support our call. They're only afraid. A source of fear that this rabbi and other local religious authorities understand. They continue to discourage members of their faith from praying at the site. Let's allow free visitation and exploration, but not overtly saying this was the Jewish temple area. In other words, we gave up of our own heritage and our own rights and our own possibilities for the sake of peace and calm. I respect that move. According to Israeli police figures, the number of religious Jews visiting the Temple Mount this year could come close to 10,000. However, a vast majority of Jewish worshippers still choose to remain beneath it at the Wailing Wall.